welcome back to my channel uh, in the last video or previous video i explained the uh, first example under divide and conquer approach that is uh, binary research today i am going to in this video today i am going to explain uh, another example of divide and conquer approach that is uh, merge sort okay so what is merge sort so actually the divide and conquer approach is uh, completely implemented in this merge sort what is divide and conquer approach dividing the problem into sub problems and solving those sub problems individually and combining the solutions here we are going to show these three operations under merge sort because merge sort is requiring all these three operations okay so the, what do we mean by merge sort so whenever you take any elements whenever you take elements if you want to sort the elements in elements by using merge sort the aim of merge sort is dividing the problem into sub problems i will show you how this particular merge sort is dividing a uh, merge sort can divide the problem into sub problems and uh, so these sub problems can be solved individually so after getting the individual sub problem solutions we are going to combine the solutions by using merge procedure so here we are using merge sort for solving the sub problems and by using merge procedure for combining all the individual problem solutions okay suppose if we assume the elements of the given array are a of 1 a of 2 so on a of m assume so these are the other elements or you can write uh, i have already told you you can write this also a1 a2 so on a. any any representation you can use uh, for uh, representing the array elements suppose if you take uh, a of 1 a of 2 so on a of n are the given array elements n array elements so in this case by using merge sort by using merge sort merge sort okay na? aim of merge sort is dividing the problem into sub problems so here division is taking place exactly at half half means now take the low and the high take the low location number one and uh, high location number n take low location number one and high location number n immediately calculate mid immediately calculate mid so one plus n by two so this symbol is floor symbol floor symbol suppose i i, I already explained in the previous video suppose in four floor symbol if you get division as 2.5 then it it results two only and suppose if you take c 2.5 means three is the resultant number but here we are going to consider the previous integer value which is less than the 2.5 okay so after calculating mid we are uh, this merge sort is dividing this entire array into two sub parts okay now one is from a of 1 to a of n by 2 so this is one sub problem this is one sub problem first sub problem and second sub problem starts with n plus 1 a of n by 2 plus 1 to a of n so like this by using merge sort by using merge sort procedure we can uh, divide uh, the, uh, the given array, the given problem into two sub problems exactly at mid. Okay, na? so mid is if number of elements are n, then mid is becoming n by 2, n by 2, then the entire problem becomes two sub problems are divided into two sub problems. One is from a of 1 to a of n by 2, another one is from a of n by 2 plus 1 to n. I suppose if we take uh, elements from 1 to 1 to 10, a of 1 to a of 10. Low location number is 1, high location number is 10. Low location number is 1, high location number is 10. Then 1 plus 10 by 2 is the mid. 1 plus 10 by 2 is 11 by 2, 5.5. Actually, we get 5.5, but we need to take floor. So 5 only. So a of 1 to a of 5 is one sub problem. A of 5 plus 1 means a of 6 to a of 10 is another sub problem. Is it clear now? Then Take this sub problem as input and apply merge sort again. Take this sub problem as input and apply merge sort again. That means we are solving these two sub problems individually. So solve this sub problem and solve this sub problem. Okay now. So again, merge sort is applied here. The problem is larger means if single element is there, we cannot divide it. So we need to apply merge sort procedure, divide the sub problem into sub problems, sub problem into sub sub problems until uh, single element problems. We are supposed to divide uh, problem sub problem into sub sub problems, and those sub problems are relatively larger. Then again, divide that problem into sub sub problems like that until until getting single element problems. So if element if number of elements in that particular problem are only one, then we cannot divide it. 
that element itself treated as a solution that element itself treated as a solution so method ultimate aim is taking the input as original problem taking the input as original problem and uh, dividing that original problem in exactly into exactly at a mid so after dividing problem into uh, two sub problems at mid then a of 1 if no is a of 1 a of 1 to mid becomes one sub problem and mid plus 1 to n is becoming another sub problem again mid sort we need to apply mid sort on this first sub problem and mid sort on second sub problem okay so again the mid sort verifies whether this problem is relatively larger or not and second problem is also verified against larger okay na? if first sub problem is larger again mid sort is applied recursively so the mid sort will be applied recursively on all these sub problems until getting i have already told until getting single element problems once you get single element problems each element is treated as a solution of that particular problem each element is treated as solution of that particular problem so once 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 you get all the individual problem solutions then simply apply merge so finally we need to apply merge for combining merge for combining all the individual problem solutions so applying merge sort for dividing the problem into sub sub problem sub problems and again if sub problems are relatively larger again divide sub problem into sub sub problems like that if even if even array is containing two elements we treat it as a relatively larger problem again we need to apply merge sort procedure to get the individual element problems once you get individual or single element problems each element is treated as a solution then finally we can apply merge for combining merge so merge as a procedure for combining all the individual problem solutions so this is the uh, basic information related to merge sort here i am going to take one example and through that example i can explain what is merge sort after that i can also show you the tree structure format means by using the tree structure format we say where this particular problem is divided into two sub problems again where this particular sub problem is also divided into two sub problems like that that particular merge sort tree structure shows Again, I can also show you merge tree, merge calls related tree structure. In that merge call related tree structure, where this particular merge is happening or among the elements. So, in the through these two tree structure formats, I can show you through one tree structure, I can show you where merge sort, how merge sort is happening on the elements, and by using another tree structure, how the merge is taking place among the elements. Now, I'll take one example and I'll explain. So here I am taking one example uh, the, with the six elements and uh, elements are 2, 10, 9, 6, 5, 4 and location numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 or you can also take index numbers from 0 to 5 or 1 to 6, nothing wrong, you can take any index number, any starting number, so either 0 or 1. Then I took uh, one as starting index number and final index number is 6. So here I am going to show tree structure format for merge sort. So initially, so what is the problem now? Low location number is 1, high location number is 6. Okay. So what is actually, what is the merge sort? Uh, according to divide and conquer approach, so you divide the problem into sub problems. How this particular problem will be divided? Low location number is 1, high location number is 6. 1 plus 6 by 2 or 7 by 2. What is 7 by 2? 3.5. So 3.5 means 3 only. So original problem is divided into two sub problems at uh, mid, that mid location number is 3. Now we got two problems. One is 1, 2, 3 is one problem, 4 to 6 is another problem. So initial problem 2, 10, 9 and 6, 5, 4. Like this we got. Okay na? So initially we took one sub problem. Here we applied one merge sort. Merge sort procedure. Okay na? So merge sort procedure divided. This one is 2, 6 problem, original problem into two sub problems now. One sub problem is 1 is to 3 means low location number 1, 2, high location number 3. So 3 is becoming high location number for the first sub problem and because mid, so 1 to mid is one problem, mid plus 1 to high is another problem. Okay, na? so mid is 3. So first location number to mid is one problem, mid plus 1 to high is another problem now. So 1 to mid is 3. So 1 2, 3, mid is 3, so 2, 2, 10, 9 is becoming 1 problem, mid plus 1 means 6, 5, 4 means 4th location, 5th location and 6th location, so we, we represent it as 4 to 6 means range, range we can represent by using these two, okay na, so, so the, these two are two sub problems now, okay na, so from the original problem, after applying merge sort one time, we got two sub problems, one sub problem is containing 1 to mid, another problem is containing mid plus 1 to high, so still this problem is relatively larger. This problem is relatively larger because 
these two subproblems are having more than one element these two subproblems are having more than one element so index numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this we got two subproblems again apply merge sort on this problem and merge sort on this problem so apply merge sort apply merge sort on this problem and again merge sort on second subproblem so apply merge sort on first subproblem and apply merge sort on second subproblem so merge sort on first subproblem again ca calculates mid so what is mid now 1 plus 3 by 2 mid is 1 plus 3 by 2 4 by 2 okay 2 is mid 2 is mid that's why this merge sort divided this problem into two sub problems one sub problem is containing one into one two two means two elements so two ten is one sub problem and second sub problem is containing only one element that element location number itself low that location number itself high that element low, location number itself low location number itself high because only one index number is there that index number is three then low high both are treated as same number so initially low is one high is six this number is this, this particular problem is divided into one is two three here low is one high is three here low is four high is six so again this problem is considered for uh, uh, med sort as input again four is to six problem is considered as input for med sort this med sort divided this problem into two sub problems one is containing index number one two two so low is one high is two another problem is containing three is to three means only one element is there, that element index number itself low, that element index number itself high, we cannot divide it, we cannot apply with sort on this, because we got third problem solution, we got third problem solution, still this problem is relatively larger, because that problem has more than one element, that problem has more than one element, one element. then consider this two, pro the, that, that problem with index numbers one and two, okay na, so index number, low index number is one, highest and high index number is two, again if you apply merge sort, apply merge sort on this, if you apply merge sort on this, immediately merge sort calculates mid between these two. So low is 1, high is 2. 1 plus 2 by 1 plus 2 by 2. Answer is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means 1.5. But low, here we are going to take floor. So that's why uh, 2 becomes one sub problem. 10 becomes another sub problem. 9 is becoming another sub problem. Anyway, right side the path is there. Right side path is 654. 654. Okay, na? So... Uh, this, this problem is relatively larger, that's why we applied med sort on this. This med sort problem divided uh, the to, uh, two element problem into single element problems. So one problem is containing one element with index number one, another problem is containing one element with index number two. So that index number one itself low, that index number one itself high. Here also the index number two itself low, that index number two itself high. Okay, na? so like that, like that, apply the same procedure, same med sort procedure on right side sub problem. So right side sub problem index numbers are 4, 5, 6. 4 is to 6 means 4 is low location number, uh, 6 is high index number or lo high location number. What are it may be? The index numbers. Either low index or low location, high index or high location. So 4 is to 6. If we apply merge sort on 4 is to 6, means so 4th index number to 6th index number sub problem, merge sort treats that this problem is still relatively larger because it has more than one element. Again, mid sort calculates mid between these two. So 4 plus 6 by 2. 4 plus 6 by 2 is 10 by 2. 10 by 2 means 5 is the mid location number. So obviously, the mid sort problem divides uh, this, this problem into two sub problems. One is from low to mid. Another one is from mid plus 1 to high. What is low for this problem? 4. What is mid? 5. So 4 to 5 means low to mid is one problem. Mid plus 1 to high. Mid plus 1 is 6. High is also 6. So low is too high. Low is too high. So 6 is to 6. Here only one problem is there. But still 4 is to 5 problem is relatively larger. Again mid sort required here. Mid sort is required here. Because our ultimate target by uh, for, for applying mid sort is dividing the entire problem into uh, some sub problems. Those sub problems should not be divisible further should not be divisible further so uh, if if you take element problem element problem if you are, all the problems are containing in single elements then we cannot divide them further is it clear now so that is the aim of merge sort so divide the problem into sub problems sub problems can be divided into sub sub problems until reaching the sub problems in such a way that those two sub -pro those problems cannot be divisible further so here 
So 4 is to 5 is divisible because it is having more than one element. Just by applying with start we get two subproblems now. One subproblem is containing one element with index number 4. Another subproblem containing one element with index number 5. So that index number itself treated as low, that index number itself treated as high. Here this index number itself treated as low, this index number itself treated as high. So initially this problem is divided into two subproblems at this, this location because 4 and 5 are coming to one subproblem and 6 is coming to another subproblem. We cannot divide it further. That element itself solution. Again, we need to apply Mertzat one more time, one more time on this particular problem. Here, this problem can be divided into 4 index number is one problem, 5 index number is one problem and 6 index number is another problem. Like this, we get uh, uh, divisions. So, this is the result of merge sort. This is the result of merge sort. So, after applying merge sort completely, we get the solution of individual problems. Because 2 is the solution of first, first problem, 10 is the solution of another problem, 9 is the solution of third problem. So, like that. Okay, now, like that. Uh, even if we see the tree structure format, where this particular problem initially started. Initially, it started with the original problem. How this particular merge sort divides the problem into sub-problems and sub-sub-problems. Just by going to this particular tree structure, we can observe. We can know how merge sort is applied on original problem. How that particular original problem is divided into sub-sub-problems. Just by going to this particular tree structure format, we come to know that this is the way of dividing the entire problem into smallest sub-problems. Now at the leaf level, at the leaf level, this problem is one is to one means only one element is there. Here only one element is there. Here only one element is there. Here only one element is there. In this case also it is containing only one element. Here also only one element. So we cannot apply merge sort on these sub-problems. We got six sub-problems because there are six elements and just to keep on applying merge sort procedure which leaves the subproblems with the size as one element like that if number of elements are 10 we get 10 subproblems if number of elements are n we get n subproblems if we divide merge sort continuously and recursively on all the subproblems we get the problem status like this we get the problem status like this now we got six subproblem solutions each element in that particular subproblem is the solution of that particular subproblem but we are not requiring solution like this our ultimate target is getting the solution of this entire problem. Getting the solution of this entire problem. But we got all the individual problem solutions. We got all the individual problem solutions. Then by applying merge procedure, another procedure is there. Just by applying merge procedure, we can get the solution. But how this particular merge is happening? Generally, merge sort initially taken the original problem as input. Initially, merge sort started at original problem. And that keep on div dividing the original problem into sub-problems and those sub-problems are into sub-sub-problems like that. So, merge sort is treated as top-down approach. Merge sort is top-down approach. Merge sort is top-down approach. Then what about merge? All the solutions are uh, available at leaf levels. All the solutions are available at bottom-most level. So, for calculating this problem solution, this sub-problem solution, we need to combine these two elements. We need to combine these two elements. Okay, na? for combining these two, this is low, this is mid. Okay, na? this is low, this is high. This is low, this is high for this particular problem. But this high was the mid of this. Okay, na? this high was the mid. What is mid now? Mid equal to 1 here. What is mid here? Mid is 2 here. What is mid here? Mid is 3 here. Is it clear now? Okay, na? so by using this mid, we can reach this problem because... This is the next immediate location of mid, yes or no? Once you know low and mid, we can go to next problem also. Just by increasing mid by one unit, we can reach next problem. Okay, na? So, so that's why merge is requiring three pointers. Merge sort is requiring only low and high because mid is, mid calculation is requiring only low and high. Only low and high are required for calculating mid. That's why merge sort is requiring only two parameters. One is low, another one is high. But while combining all the subproblem solutions, while combining all the subproblem solutions, the merge is requiring three parameters. One is low, low is the low for the first subproblem, and mid is the last location number for the second subproblem. Okay, na? then by if you know the mid, we can get the first location number of the next subproblem, that is mid plus one. Just by taking mid plus one, we can use the second subproblem, initial location, and we need high. We need high. This high is the last location number or last element of the second subproblem. So we, we need to know low of the first subproblem, high of the second subproblem.
just by using mid we can identify the last element of the first sub problem and first element of the last sub problem second sub problem because if we if we add one to this mid we reach mid plus one means mid plus one is the first first element of the second sub problem yes or no if we treat this as the uh, oh, sub problem after dividing this pro sub problem into two sub problems we get mid as one mid as one yes or no then we get one element here and one element here so if we add uh, mid uh, if we add one to mid we get second sub problem element or otherwise here only two elements are there we, if you observe this original problem one is to six what is the mid of this three is mid of this then one to mid becomes one sub problem mid plus one to high becomes another sub problem is it clear now so for matching these two sub problem solutions one is low required one is required one is required because one is the low location number of this problem and mid is required mid is the last location number of the second sub problem but no need to worry about the initial location of the second sub problem because we can get initial location of the second sub problem by adding 1 2 3 then 3 plus 1 is 4 then we can immediately reach the first element of the second sub problem but we need high we need high so that's why merge is requiring three parameters mid sort is requiring only two parameters because just just mid sort is used for dividing the problem into sub problems those sub problems can be internally again divided into sub sub problems and so on but for calculating division point only two parameters are required one is low of this problem and uh, another one is high of the problem if i add these two these two items and divide by two we get the mid we get the mid location so that's why merge is requiring only two parameters one is low another one is high but merge sort is requiring three parameters because we are going to combine two sub problem solutions that means we need to consider all the elements in the first sub problem we need to consider all the elements in the second sub problem but how can we reach the second sub problem now these two problems are obtained from its parent so parent is 1 is to 6 for these two parent is 1 is to 3 for these two so that parent is divided into two sub problem segment okay so if you know mid if you know mid anyway low is low is available at first sub problem just by using low and mid we can get the entire problem of first sub pro, first first sub problem and by knowing high we can we can get the ending point of the second sub problem but how we can reach how we can reach the starting location of the second sub problem just by increasing mid by one unit because uh, earlier problem is divided into two sub problems at mid only we considered low to mid as one sub problem mid plus one to high as another sub problem so how can we reach uh, uh, lowest no location number of second sub problem now just by adding mid to one then we get mid plus one so like this the merge is requiring three parameters now i am going to show you how these particular problems are divided merged or combined each other just by going through this particular tree structure format okay okay so just by observing merge chart we we say that the merge chart is top to bottom approach because merge chart at the root node the original problem is taken as input and just by calculating mid that every sub problem that particular problem is divided into two sub problems at mid low to mid becomes one sub problem and mid plus one to high becomes another sub problem like that if we take six elements those six element problem can be divided into like this so irrespective of the elements whatever the elements that are there in the array we need not bother about those elements even you take 10 elements or 20 elements those 20 elements are 10 elements, 10 elements related tree structure flow is like this okay now take low and high calculate mid so take low to mid as one sub problem and mid plus one as another sub problem and again so verify whether the, the problem is smaller problem or not because according to divide and conquer approach if problem is very smallest we get the solution directly otherwise we need to divide the problem into sub sub problems so here one is to three is also relatively larger that's why we divided this problem into two sub problems at mid one plus three by two four four by two is two so low mid mid plus one to high because only one element is there that element itself low that element itself high like that 4 plus 6 10 by 2 5 so low is 4 mid is 5 mid plus 1 is 6 high is also 6 so like that we divided the problem into sub problem so i can see uh, mid sort is flowing from top to bottom so mid sort is top to bottom approach top to bottom approach now after getting so this is one solution this is another solution this is third problem solution this is fourth problem solution fifth problem solution sixth problem solution because we cannot divide the sub problems in further so only one element is there in all the sub problems at the bottom most level or the leaf level 
So whatever the subproblems we obtained finally, those subproblems cannot be divided further. Is it clear now? So each subproblem is each subproblem element is treated as a solution. Like that, irrespective of the elements, we say that these are the solutions. Suppose if we take this, what is first element? Two is the first element. What is second element? Ten is the second element. What is the third element? Nine is the third element. What is the fourth element? Six is the fourth element. What is fifth element? Five is the sixth fifth element. So four is the sixth seventh element. So these are the solutions. So this problem is containing only one element. This problem is containing only one element. This problem, this problem. All the leaf level, leaf level sub problems are containing only one element problems. Is it clear now? So now at bottom most we got the solutions. At bottom most we got the solution. But our target is yes, calculating solution of one is to six. Calculating solution of one is to six. For calculating solution of one is to six, we must know one is to three solution, four is to six solution. For knowing one is to three solution, we must know one is to two solution and three. That means we need to combine one is to Two and three. Then only we get one is to three solution. If you, after calculating four is to five solution, if we combine four is to five and six is to six, then only we get the solution. So merge is bottom to top. Merge is bottom to top. So we collect the solution from the bottommost in the tree structure and merge all the solutions. So we say that uh, merge is bottom bottom to top. I will tell you. So which elements are going to be merged? Now one is to one and two is to two merged each other. Then only we get solution as one is to two. So first merge this. First merge this. This means take these two elements first. First index number and second index number elements first. Suppose if we assume this is array A. This is array A. Okay na? So uh, this array A is divided into sub sub problems and so on like that. Okay na? But while merging these two elements, we need to have a flag form, separate flag form. So for that we are assuming another temporary array. The temporary array assume, assumed as B. Okay? Then how we can merge the elements now? So merging is a separate procedure which is required in merge sort. We can we can merge these two elements by considering one, one but just by selecting first element in the first sub problem and first element in the second sub problem. We need to combine these two elements because all the elements are sorted. This is the solution of this problem and this is the solution of second sub problem. Then select first sub problem, first element in the first sub problem and first element in the second sub problem. Compare these two elements. Where whichever is smaller, the copy that element into auxiliary array. We treat it as auxiliary array or temporary array. Auxiliary array. We are using this particular auxiliary array for sorting the elements, getting the sorted order list in auxiliary array because it is not possible getting the sorted array in original array. Okay, na? then compare this just by taking i and j. i is one variable which is used for selecting the elements from the first array and j is another variable which is used for selecting elements in the second array so according to this tree structure our ultimate aim is getting one is to two solution so one is to two solution can be obtained by combining solution of one is to one and solution of two is to two so the solution of one is to one is two solution of two is to two is ten okay then combine these two so combine procedure is uh, ultimately the combined procedure selects all the elements in the first first array and all the elements in the second array but one element at a time we are going to compare the selected uh, uh, location elements. Whichever is smaller, we are going to copy that smaller element into auxiliary array. And we need to increment that pointer by one unit, not second variable pointer, because that is not a copied. Okay. So compare this element A of i and A of j, because array is A. So A of i is 2, A of j is 10. Then compare these two elements. A of i is smaller, then copy A of i into auxiliary array. And increment i by one unit, because only one element is there. It is cross this boundary. Because this is mid, mid is 1, then it is crossed this boundary, crossed the boundary means it entered into second sub problem, then stop uh, comparing here because all the elements in the first sub problem are copied completely because only one element is there, we, we, we can observe this particular difference if more than one element is there, okay, we will see uh, just by combining all the problems. So whatever the remaining elements that are there in second sub problem, blindly copy remaining elements into auxiliary array and increment pointer by one unit. Only one element is there, then if you, if you increment j by one unit, it crosses its boundary because its boundary is only two. Its boundary is only two. Then it crosses, it goes outside of the problem. Then after combining, again copy these two elements into original array. Then we get sorted order list as two, ten. Next one is nine. Okay, na? now we got this solution. We got one is to two solution that is two comma ten. One is to two solution is two comma ten. Then for getting 1 is to 3, for getting 1 is to 3, we need to combine 1 is to 2 solution with 3 is to 3. What is 3 is to 3? 9. What is 1 is to 2? 2 comma 10. 1 is to 2 is 2 comma 10. And the third problem solution is 9. Again take temporary array, means ancillary array. 
with the same size as original array. Okay, ma'am? Then, uh, same story. Come, take one variable at first sub problem in the first element in the first sub problem. Take another element, so another variable which is pointing first element in the second sub problem. One element should point first element in the first sub problem. One, one variable, one variable should point first element in the first sub problem. Another variable should point first element in the second sub problem. Then compare the location elements. A of i is 2, A of j is 9. A of i is 2, A of j is 9. Then A of i is smaller. Then copy A of i into auxiliary array and increment i by 1 unit, not incrementing j because j is not yet affected. Okay, ma'am? Uh, then compare a of i with a of j. Here a of j is smaller, then copy a of j into auxiliary array, then increment j by 1 unit. What is its boundary? 3 only. 3. Once you increment i, I, j by 1 unit, it crosses its boundary. Then all the elements are completely copied. Then whatever the remaining elements that are there, blindly copy those elements completely in the same order from the current location of i to last location. Its last location is 2 only. Then copy this element and increment i by 1 unit. What is i boundary? What is i boundary? 2 only. Then it is also crossed its boundary. Then we got this solution. 2, 9, 10 is the solution of first two sub problems. Then you got 2, 9, 10 is the solution of 1 is 2, 3. Okay, na? So here, while applying merge, we are supposed to consider one auxiliary array with the same size of original array for holding the temporary results. For holding the temporary results, by using that array, we can we can merge two selected subproblem solutions. We can merge two sub two sub selected subproblem solutions. Now we got this problem solution completely. That solution is two nine ten. Is it clear now? Okay, na? So after getting first subproblem solution, you are supposed to calculate four is to six. Then only after combining one is to three and four is to six solutions, we get original problem solution. Our target is getting the solution of one is to six, not individual problem solutions. Just by using this criteria, I got. 1 is to 3 solution. Then how can I get 4 is to 6 solution? First, first calculate 4 is to 5 solution and combine this 4 is to 5 solution with 6 is to 6. What is 4 is to 5? What are 4 is to 5? 6 is one element, 5 is another element, 4 is one element. But here we need to combine 4 is to 5 first. 4 is to 5 first. These two sub problems first. For obtaining 4 is to 6. For obtaining 4 is to 6, we are supposed to get 4 is to 5 solution. Combined solution. After getting 4 is to 5, combine the solution with 6 is to 6. Then only we get 4 is to 6. Okay, na? So, again, same. Take i here, j here. Then take b, auxiliary array b. Then compare a of i with a of j. Here a of j is smaller than a of i. Then copy a of i into auxiliary array. Increment j by 1 unit. What is its boundary? 5 is its boundary. Then it is crossed. Once you increment j by 1 unit, it's crossed its boundary. It crossed its boundary. Then whatever the remaining elements that are there in first sub problem, blindly copy those elements into auxiliary array because these two are sorted. This is the solution of first sub problem. This is the solution of second sub problem. Every time you are copying lower numbers into auxiliary array, then whatever the remaining elements in second sub problem, those are greater than this. So that's why blindly copy all the remaining elements into auxiliary array. Then increment i by 1 unit. i is also crossing its boundary. What is i value? i is 4 only. Once increment i by 1 unit, it crosses its boundary. Then this is the solution of uh, 4 is to 5. This is the solution of 4 is to 5. How we got solution? 6, 5 and last element is 4. So 6 location number is 3. 5th location number is 4. Uh, 4 and 5th location number is 5. And 4th location number is 6. Now I got 4 is to 5 solution. That is... 5 comma 6. 4 is to 5 solution is 5 comma 6. But for getting 4 is to 6, I must merge 4 is to 5 solution and 6 is to 6. What is 4 is to 5 solution? 6 comma 5. What is 6th solution? 4. Now I am going to merge these two solutions. I am uh, removing this. Okay. And again apply the same concept. Again apply the same concept here. Just by using that concept, uh, I can merge these two elements, uh, these two sub problems. After matching these two sub problems, I can get uh, the second sub problem complete solution. Okay, so 5 comma 6 is the uh, this 4 is to 5 solution and the 6, 6, 6, 6 sub problem solution is 4. Now I need to combine these two. Then only I then only I get uh, uh, virtual problem solution 4 is to 6. So for getting virtual problem solution 4 is to 6, I need to combine solution of 4 is to 5, this one and this one. Okay, na? again take auxiliary array with the same size. Okay, na? make it as B and that's 
start i value here and j value here what is ith location first element in the first sub problem j initial location is first element in the second sub problem again compare uh, i in i a of i and d of j here i can increment i up to mid only i can increment i up to mid because this sub problem mid is 5 up to 5 i can increment j can be incremented up to high only i is 6 this, this location number is 6 okay now compare a of i and a of j which is smaller a of j is smaller then copy a of j into auxiliary array 4 a of j into auxiliary array that a of j is 4 then increment j by 1 unit what is its boundary 6 only if increment j by 1 unit j becomes 7 this is out of boundary 7 is out of boundary then whatever the number elements that are remained in another problem because this is solution of the first sub problem this is the solution of second sub problem and these elements are also sorted this element is also sorted if if one sub problem solution is completely copied whatever the remaining elements that are there in second sub problem which are obviously greater than greater than the copied elements so whatever the remaining elements in the sec next second sub problem start from the current location number start from the current location number blindly copy all the elements into auxiliary array then at a of i copy a of i into auxiliary array increment i by one unit copy a of i into auxiliary array increment i by one unit then what will happen after copying six what is the boundary of first sub problem five only what is the boundary of first sub problem five only so after copying fifth location element also into auxiliary array once you increment i by one unit it crosses its boundary then all the elements in second sub problem is also copied then this is the solution of four is to six so what is the solution of four is to six four five and six so what we are doing now Merge is performing bottom to top. We are selecting all the individual problem solutions and we are getting in intermediate results. 1 is to 2 is 1 intermediate result, 1 is to 3 is 1 intermediate result, 4 is to 5 is 1 intermediate result, 4 is to 6 is 1 intermediate result. So for getting that we are requiring low, mid and high. Low is 1, mid is required because I can increment the first variable, first sub problem variable up to mid only and high is required because I can increment second sub problem variable up to high only because that is the boundary of uh, second sub problem. But by using mid I can reach first element in the second sub problem. How I can reach first element in the second sub problem? Once you know mid, just by incrementing mid by one unit, uh, we get uh, second sub problem low location number. There I can start the J value. Okay, na? So the, uh, like this I can get uh, two sub problems. Just by applying last merge on these two elements, I can get the original problem solution. I will show you that also uh, in this. So the same procedure we need to apply to combine the final so two sub problem solutions. This is left sub problem solution. This is right sub problem solution. Same, same. Uh, take uh, I here and J here and compare A of I and A of J. Here A of I is smaller than A of J. Then copy A of I into auxiliary array. In increment I by one unit. Now compare a of i and a of j. Here a of j is smaller than a of i, then increment j by 1 unit and copy a of j. Again compare these two elements, 5 is small. a of uh, j means 5 is smaller than 9, then copy 5 into auxiliary array in increment j by 1 unit. Again still 6 is smaller than 10, then copy 6 into auxiliary array and increment j by 1 unit. If j gets outside, because j crosses outside of boundary, because the boundaries are uh, only 6, if you increment j once again, then J classes its boundary, then whatever the remaining elements that are there in next sub problem or another sub problem, blindly copy those two sub problems because all the copied elements are smaller than the remaining elements in the array because both are sorted. This sub problem is sorted, this sub problem is sorted. Once any sub problem is completely copied into auxiliary array, blindly copy the remaining elements in the second sub problem from the current location of I or J. Sometimes this sub problem elements may be smaller than second sub problem. In that case, whatever the current location of J, from that location, copy all the elements up to high. Here, from this current location, copy all the elements from high to mid, I, I location number to mid. Then uh, copy 9 and increment I by 1 unit. Copy 10, increment I by 1 unit. What will happen if increment I by 1 unit? It crosses its boundary. Okay, I crosses its boundary. Then whatever the elements that are copied into auxiliary array, this is the solution. But our target is getting the solution in A. Then again the take one loop and copy one by one element just by taking low and high. Initially take I as low, I increment I by one unit until reaching high. Then copy all the elements into auxiliary main array. Okay, na? like this 
Just by taking one loop, I can copy all the elements by selecting one by one element in the auxiliary array and directly copy auxiliary array elements into main array. Okay, na? so in this way we can merge the element, merge merge or combine the two sorted uh, subarrays. But uh, what is merge sort now? I have already explained. What is merge sort? If if low less than high means uh, at least me. Two elements must be there. If low less than high means we expect two elements minimum. If low is less than high, immediately calculate mid. Mid is low plus high by two. Once after calculating mid, immediately I am getting two sub problems. One is from low to mid, another one is mid plus one to high. Apply mid sort on this problem and mid sort on this problem. After getting the solutions of these two, merge those two sub problem solutions. Here I have already told three pointers or three variables are required. One is low. Low is the low for the first sub problem. Another one is high. High is the high for the second sub problem. Then how can I how can I find the first sub problem end and second sub problem starting just by mid? Just by mid, I can identify first sub problem end. This is first sub problem end. Once you know mid, once you know mid, just by adding one to mid, I can get the uh, first location of the second sub problem. So like this, I can call uh, uh, merge sort on two sub problems, and uh, I can also call merge on. Those two sub problems for combining those two sub problem solutions. Here I am going to tell the uh, right merge uh, procedure, and I will explain how we can uh, uh, write the merge procedure. How a merge procedure can be applied on this. If you understood this, then merge is very easy. This is merge sort. I am going to write merge procedure, and I will also explain merge procedure now. Now I explain uh, merge procedure. So I already told merge procedure is requiring three parameters. One is low. This is the low for the first sub problem. And another one is high. High is the last location number of the second sub problem, and third one is mid. Just by using mid, I can find the the boundary or the last location of the first sub problem. And just by using mid itself, I can reach second sub problem low location number because second sub problem low location number is mid plus one. Okay, na first sub problem last location number is mid. So that's why I read uh, three parameters only. Now. Uh, in merge procedure, now take the first sub problem and second sub problem. Suppose if first sub problem low is H, this is auxiliary array low. This is auxiliary array B, array B or lower letter or higher letter we can take. And this is uh, second sub problem or last location number. Okay, now because this this is required because we need to point out the uh, initial location number of the first sub problem. And this is I is the initial location. Ah, uh, it's a auxiliary array low location number. Okay, now. And uh, J is sorry, J is mid plus one. J you need to take J as mid plus one because J you you are supposed to start J at uh, first initial location number of the second sub problem. Okay, so H I started at low. This is the low of the first sub problem, and I I also initialized the low low for low low location number for the auxiliary array, and I started J at the first element in the second sub problem. First element location of the second sub problem is mid plus one. Okay, na so here. I can increment H up to mid only because mid is the boundary of first sub problem, and I can increment G up to high only. High is the second sub problem limit. So I I can initially start at uh, H at mid, uh, H at low because that is the first in the first location of first element element of the first sub problem, and this is the first element of the second sub problem. Then I can increment the first 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 variable or uh, first array variable up to mid only. Then I can increment second array variable up to high only. But at each and every H location number and J location value, I am going to compare. So based on comparison result, either I am copying A of H into auxiliary array or A of J into auxiliary array based on this. Okay na? So initially H is started at low. Obviously low is less than or equal to mid. And J is started at mid plus one. Yeah, obviously J initially J is less than or equal to high. Okay na? After comparing A of H and A of J. This is the initially. This is the first element in the first array. This is the first element in the second array. If a of h is less than or equal to a of j, a of h is treated as either lesser value or equal value. Then immediately copy a of h into auxiliary array in ith location. I initially started at low. Okay, na increment h by one unit because we are incrementing whichever array element is copied. Increment that for particular array variable only. Okay, na then increment h by one unit. Otherwise, if it is false, means a of h is greater than a of j. Then copy a of j into auxiliary array. Copy a of j into auxiliary array. Increment j by one unit. But for commonly, commonly increment i by one unit. This this is the auxiliary array or location number. Once after copying one element into auxiliary array, increment auxiliary array variable also by one unit. Common. This is common incrementation. And if you don't write here, then you have to write i equal to i plus one here or i equal to i plus one here. Unnecessarily we need to repeat two times. If you don't write here. 
So this is the common incrementation because we are copying only one element. Either element may be a, a of x or a of j. Only one element we are copying. That element is a of x or a of j. For that we need increment i by 1 unit. So if you repeat it, if you repeat this procedure like this, if you repeat this procedure like this, either first array may be completely copied or second array may be completely copied. We have already seen the example. If first array is completely copied, whatever the location number that is stopped, whatever the j location number that is currently there, from that particular location number until high, high, we need to copy all those elements in the same order because first array is already sorted, second array is already sorted. If first array elements are completely copied, we say that whatever the remaining elements in second array, those elements are, those remaining elements are greater than all the copied elements. Now we we'll check it. Suppose if x is greater than mid, from this we can conclude that the first array elements are completely copied into auxiliary array. Then start from the current jth location until h until high. Copy all the elements into auxiliary array, increment i by 1 unit because here we are taking for loop, then automatically the for loop increments j by 1 unit. j initially started at current j location in the second sub problem and uh, that j value will be incremented up to high only because second sub problem boundary is high. Then copy all the elements into auxiliary array, k element, k plus 1 element, k plus second element, so on, high because k is initially started at j, current j location. Then increment k by 1 unit every time until high and copy all kth location elements into auxiliary array, increment auxiliary array element by uh, location number by 1 unit. Because we must move, uh, move to next empty cell in the auxiliary array. Otherwise, if it is false, if it is false, then uh, we say that second, uh, second array is completely copied. If first array uh, uh, copied is false means second array is completely copied, then Start from the current location of H because H is considered in the first array for selecting the elements and J is considered for selecting the second array elements. Suppose if second array is completely copied, this is false means if second array is completely copied, then start loop from the current location of the H and we can increment H by one unit, one unit until reaching mid because first sub problem boundary is mid. So for, from the current location of First, first array element, first array element or first array variable, increment h by 1 unit until mid, copy all the elements in the same sequence into auxiliary array because all these elements have already sorted. If, if second array is completely copied, then blindly copy the remaining elements in the second array into auxiliary array because these elements are sorted, already sorted and whatever the copied elements, those are less than the remaining elements in the first array, then copy all the elements into auxiliary array. Now we got the sorted order list in auxiliary array. But we are supposed to maintain sorted order list in A. How can we copy sorted order list into A? Sorted order list is there in B. Again take one loop, start from low to high, copy low into auxiliary main array, B of low plus 1 into main array, B of low plus 2 into main array until B of high. Copy all elements into our main array from the auxiliary array. Like this, we get the sorted order array from the uh, auxiliary array. So, by using this merger procedure, by using this merger procedure, I can uh, uh, merge all the sub problem solutions and finally I can get the original problem. Uh, the, but initially, sorted array is there in auxiliary array. Just by using last for loop, I can copy all the auxiliary array elements into main array. So, this is about the merge procedure. Okay. Now, uh, I am going to explain time complexity, time complexity in the next video. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you so much.